So I'm doing vlog two. These are over chapters three, four, five, and six. Uh, first things first, loved our projects. It was a lot of fun doing that. Uh, I love public speaking. I love presenting. Sorry, I went a little over. Um, I do like to run my mouth a little bit. Uh, but it was awesome. It was a great way to see how different news events are covered through different outlets and gave us some background information on some events that were happening around the world. I thought that was a lot of fun. I just wanted to start off with that. Um, from Chapter 3, which was uh, books, um, I actually didn't realize how much actually went into the process of books from the printing press to all the developments, uh, to getting them bound, and then the distribution of books and how they were the, for a long time, they were the widest uh, widest spread form of media that we had um, in the in the U.S. and in the world, and the um, according to the book, the most personal um, form of media that we had. The other thing I really liked um, couldn't really find anything from chapter four um, or five, but the "Killing Me Softly" video was actually very interesting and kind of opened uh, at least my eyes to the uh, oversexual the oversexualization, I guess, of of advertisements and how how bad um it actually is you know you look at, at advertisements and you don't really think about it i guess um at least i didn't until actually diving into something like that and i actually really really like that video um even though we missed a, a day of class um i still actually really liked uh liked watching that and i thought it was very interesting the the examples that she had and just how egregious some of them were and how, like, how did we miss that? And it's just kind of something that, that popped into my mind. Um, lastly, I wanted to talk about chapter six uh, on film. I didn't realize that uh, Edison, Thomas Edison, had so much developed in film. I definitely thought he was the light guy the whole way. I didn't realize that he had a lot to do with the projection and the development of the... Um, the movie, I guess. Uh, the other thing that I found actually kind of funny was those rolling picture uh, booths that they had, where the picture would just kind of move for 25 cents. That is the funniest thing. Um, I don't know why someone would pay money to see that. Of course, someone in the future is going to say, why would somebody pay money to watch someone play video games? It's going to be the same thing. But um, I just thought that was kind of funny and also really interesting. I didn't realize that people paid to watch a bunch of pictures rotate so kind of cool kind of fun there um and then i also i knew that there was uh a film with sound and i i thought it was the jazz singer i thought that was the first movie with sound but i didn't realize that there was a movie before it and i certainly didn't realize that drew barrymore's great grandpa um or the heir to that uh was even involved in that so kind of cool kind of fun um I appreciate you watching, and I went over a little bit, as I do.